Hello everyone. From wherever around the world you're joining us, welcome to this third concert of six within the Community Arts Program 2021 Virtual Summer Concert Series. We're coming to you from the historic Coral Gables Congregational United Church of Christ in Coral Gables, Florida. My name is Harold Bunton. I'm thrilled to serve on the Community Arts Program Advisory Board. With the mission to provide educational and culturally enriching experiences through the transforming power of the arts, the Community Arts Program provides after-school music education to greater Miami children and youth, no matter what their circumstance, and a host of other programs for all. Like tonight's summer concert, part of a series in its 36th consecutive season and second virtual year. Read more about the Community Arts Program at communityartsprogram.org. As the father and grandfather of musicians, I know firsthand the rewards and importance of music and culture in our life, and also the joy that comes from sharing those experiences. And now, it's my great pleasure to introduce tonight's performers, the Zach Bartholomew Trio in a program titled La Fiesta, a tribute to Chick Corea.
Thank you all. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the 2021 Community Arts Virtual Summer Concert Series. Um, this is a really special concert for me. I'm very, very uh, honored and privileged to be able to share uh, with you all this music um, by one of my favorite composers, pianists, and musicians, uh, Armando Chick Corea. And this is our concert in tribute to him called La Fiesta, a tribute to Chick Corea. And I'm also very honored to be joined by my musical guests uh, and partners and friends, Rodolfo Zuniga on the drum set and Marty Quinn on the bass. Um, that song was a piece of music he wrote. Um, it was first, it was called La Fiesta, so the sort of the theme of our concert. That was first recorded in uh, 1972 by his, uh, a very famous band he started as a leader called Return to Forever, and it's on their first album called Return to Forever. Um, and it's, uh, it's actually, I think it's the last track, and it's like a, sort of combined with another song, and it's, it's like a 20 minute long track, and it, you, you hear that tune halfway through. But he also recorded around the same time with uh, Stan Getz, the saxophone player, who he played a lot with um, in the uh, early six, or late 60s, early 70s. Um, and it's on an album they did together called Captain Marvel. Uh, we're going to fast forward a little bit to um, another tune he wrote. This is one he in, uh, wrote in tribute to a, uh, another famous pianist, Bud Powell. And this is a tune he wrote simply titled Bud Powell. And it's um, the, he recorded a few times with Gary Burton, um, but he also recorded it with his Remembering Bud Powell band. They did the whole album together in 1996 with uh, Christian McBride on bass, Roy Haynes on drums, um, I think Joshua Redman and... Kenny Garrett and Wallace Roney. So really great, really great album. And this is his tune called Bud Powell. Thank you. 
Uh, thank you. That was a tune that Chick Corea wrote entitled Windows, one of his um, more popular, more common tunes among jazz musicians. That was an arrangement uh, of mine uh, on that tune. And uh, he recorded that first in 1967, I believe, um, with Stan Getz on an album called Sweet Rain. And he, it was, became famous from his uh, trio album called Now He Sings, Now He Sobs that he recorded in 1968. This next tune we're going to play is from an album of his a little bit um, further in time in the 70s called The Mad Hatter. And this is a composition he wrote entitled Humpty Dumpty.
This next piece I'm going to play for you is a blues chick wrote, um, and this is from his 1994 album, a solo piano album called Expressions, uh, which he dedicated the entire album to another uh, great pianist, Art Tatum. And um, one, actually, one of my favorite, uh, I really love a lot of things about Chick's playing. His solo piano is one of my favorite things. Um, he's just incredibly creative. Uh, he combines a lot of playfulness and a lot of influences from other pianists like Bud Powell, Thelonious Monk, Art Tatum, um, a lot of other guys. But this is a tune he wrote entitled Blues for Art in dedication to Art Tatum. This next piece we're going to play for you guys is a, a tune Chick wrote based off of another a Wayne Shorter composition. Um, Wayne Shorter wrote a famous uh, jazz standard called Footprints that he recorded with Miles Davis. And this is kind of Chick's homage to Wayne, and this is a tune he wrote based on the same form called Fingerprints. And he recorded this in 2001 with, uh, under the Chick Corea New Trio uh, with Avishai Cohen on bass and Jeff Ballard on drums. Thank you. 
this next piece we're going to play for you is a uh, tune Chick wrote in, uh, he first recorded in 1986 with the Electric Band, um, and this is a period of time he was doing a lot of like fusion and uh, electronic music. He was actually played this tune on guitar. There's a lot of videos of him um, doing standing up playing like a Yamaha guitar and uh, John Patitucci on electric bass, Dave Wuckel on drums. Uh, so we're going to try an acoustic bass and acoustic piano. This is Gotta Match.
we are going to end the program with uh, one of my favorite Chick Corea compositions. This is a composition featured on his album, My Spanish Heart, entitled Armanda's Roomba.